ゴジラ進行を開始しました進行ルートは予想通りです我が国の混乱で世界情勢がどうなるか早期解決が必要ね一部隊攻撃を開始してください。This is my first ever stream. I tested it out a little while ago and now I'm. I apologize. Maybe somebody can comment if、uh, the volume is good. The last time I tried to do this a few hours ago, the game volume was higher than the.、Uh, my voice.、So、let me know if I need to adjust the volume. Is there a PC port of the game? I don't know.、Um, I'm, I'm playing on my PS4.、Uh, folks in the comments,、uh, is my voice coming in alright? I just want to make sure if the audio is okay. Thank you, Steve. So, audio is good. I love these freaking things. I think these are what? These are from Mothra vs. Godzilla? Is that 1964, right? These little lightning weapons. So I got this game for my birthday. My friend got this for me for my birthday. Well, I think when it came out. Now this game's like really expensive apparently. I don't know, they didn't make a lot of them, I guess. As you can see, I don't play it much, but. Years ago, I loved this game because when I was a kid, that, I mean, these were the type of games I would have killed for. Godzilla just walking around, destroying shit. And when you're a kid, you just have way more imagination, so I wouldn't even care what's going on in the game. I'd just be like making up my own scenarios if I was a kid. But now I'm old, so I don't have that ability anymore. So I just play by the rules. I think. Uh, let me look at some of the. Ch I apologize if you guys are asking questions.、Uh, I'll try to answer some of them. Yeah, over $200 now. That's right, this game is so damn. so damn expensive. And yeah, maybe it was because a lot of people didn't care for this game. I mean, as a video game, it's not that good. But if you're a Godzilla fan, there's a lot of attention to detail with this game that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, if I was a kid and this game came out, it probably would have been my favorite game ever.、Um, I like Destroy All Monsters Melee. I had that for GameCube when I was a kid, but the problem I have is that I'm not a big fighting,、uh, fighting game fan. I like games, you know. I, I like Super Smash Bros. It's probably the only fighting game I like. Brian Quint says, nothing looks better than Heisei Goji. Yeah, I actually prefer the Heisei、uh, Godzilla look. It's my favorite look. I don't think it's shocking that the Heisei look is what they went with for this game.、Uh, Kochi Kawakita, special effects director for the Heisei era, he actually was an advisor on this game. I think that was one of the last things he worked on before he、uh, passed away, sadly. I think the thing people probably hate about this game is just how freaking slow Godzilla moves. Oh, here we go. Yes. Our good pal, Ankla Dukadillo. Angerus, Angelus, whatever the fuck you want to call him. I don't give a shit. Alright, it's Angerus. One time I was playing this and I got Angerus as the 100 meter class, and I was still very, like a very small Godzilla. <laughs> I was just like, oh shit, he's coming. It was terrifying. Alright. Angerus wants revenge for me、uh, calling him the wrong name, pronouncing his name wrong. Let's see. 
Alright, time to fire off one of these. Boom! That is like one of the most satisfying things about this game. Just shooting that atomic breath. You don't have to worry about aiming it. Just fucking hits whatever you're looking at. Good, he's not small enough so that I can still hit him with my tail. Alright, we got Godzilla raids again going on. Here we go. Boom! Yeah, Godzilla in that movie couldn't do that shit. Yeah, Godzilla raids again. That movie freaked me out. Uh, as a kid, it freaks me out as an adult. Ooh, that was nice. Sadly, Angerus, I feel like, doesn't get a lot of play. Um, I know the next video I'm doing is on Final Wars. And I know... Oh, you fucking you can dig underground? Oh, that is awesome. As you can tell, I haven't played as any of the other characters much. Alright. I'm messing around here, Angerus. Sorry, I'll look at your uh, comments or any questions you have in a second. I, my hands are full right now with Godzilla raids again over here. Using the uh, nuclear pulse attack is pretty much the go-to in this fucking game. You just use that whenever you're in trouble. Oh wow, I'm actually losing kind of. What? So Angerus is back, is stronger than Atomic Breath. Confirmed. It's canon now. Oh, you crafty son of a bitch. If you haven't noticed, I'm not the best in this game. Alright, enough of your bullshit, Angerus. Back to the graveyard you go. LOL, I typed Angerus wrong. How dumb am I? Nope, there's no way to type Angerus wrong. You can literally spell Angerus any way you want, just like I pronounce it any way I want. Yeah, so the uh, Angerus joke that I made in my uh, updated Godzilla Raids Again video, that was because um, on my original video I'd gotten a few comments that were like, you're pronouncing the name wrong. It's like, dude, I pronounce things wrong in all my videos. It's just a matter of how many times I'm going to do that. Um, but I just have fun with it, it's whatever. I know people get very upset when I mispronounce the word verses. Because uh, if you look at my older videos, I'll say verse. And the reason I say verse is because growing up, uh, all I did was watch sports. Um, and a lot of times when you're watching sports, people will just say verse instead of verses. Uh, so, listen, it's a, it's a reasonable complaint. I mean, those aren't the correct names of the movies. It's verses, not verse. Uh, so don't worry, when I update my show era videos, I will be saying verses, not verse. From Anders Johnson, if you could bring back a classic kaiju for a new Godzilla film, which would it be? Oh. Biolante. But Biolante was great. And the best part about Biolante is, is that idea came from like a random, like a random guy. It was a, a dentist, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's like some dentist entered it in as a contest. <laughs> Mecha King Manila. <laughs> I'm not going to destroy everything in these levels, to be perfectly honest. It's just very tedious. Godzilla moves like a fucking tree. So I'm just going to go for the generators. So I'll be a very small Godzilla by the end of this playthrough. That's okay. Mr. Meme asks, who is your favorite kaiju, excluding Goji himself? Somebody, I think, asked me something similar to that. And I have a hard time. Um, other than Godzilla... This is gonna sound so bizarre. I loved, um... King, uh, King Caesar. <laughs> just... The character, just, I don't know, there's something about that character I liked. 
I don't know if he's my second favorite giant monster, though. I don't know. I gotta think about that one. You have to spam the run button to get that fury. <laughs> oh, I know. You gotta do that, like, X crap. Man. I gotta hit X and just plow into it. Sorry if I'm playing like an idiot. I'm trying to look at your comments and play at the same time. And I'm looking at your comments through my phone, so I'm like a little all over the place. This level's over, right? Oh shit, there's another generator. Oh now I can see now I gotta run all the way over there. This is everybody's problem with this game is that you're just so damn slow and it takes forever. We do we do need more King Caesar. Um I mean, he's based off the uh, the Shiza, and I think the Shiza looks pretty damn awesome. Those statues in Japan, particularly in Okinawa. Big action, Bill. Have you seen Godzilla vs. King Kong? Yes, I did. And I loved it. I loved all the... Uh... So I made a reaction video to that movie, and a lot of people interpreted my reaction to Godzilla vs. Kong as like a negative reaction, and it, it wasn't. I, I loved that movie. I thought it was awesome. Uh, we finally got the rematch we wanted. We finally got Godzilla winning. Um, so I was happy from that perspective. I think what pissed people off is that I started talking about the movie from a more um, subjective standard, and that, you know, let's be honest, like the story was kind of stupid. Like, I, I really <laughs> probably pissed a lot of people off saying that again, but I, I just thought the story was like, whatever. Um, but I enjoyed it. I loved it. Same with King of the Monsters, same with Godzilla 2014. Um, those were the mo particularly... God All right, good, we're done with this level. Godzilla King of the Monsters, I think that was the movie I wanted back when I was 10 years old when Godzilla uh, 1998 came out. But that was the movie I wanted. And obviously we didn't get that. Socially Normal says, Yeah, subjectively G GBK is a bad movie. Uh, don't forget, you can roar to block and power up your... Yes, the roar... The roar is good in this game. Are you excited for Godzilla Singular Point? Yeah, I am. Um, I believe that comes out on the 24th. Now, apparently you could watch that already if you you know you look in the right places. I think there are subs available if you don't speak Japanese. Who do I want to fight? Rodan or Mechagodzilla? Mr. Meme says... I mean, Godzilla vs. Kong is a dumb movie. It's clear it clearly does not take itself too seriously, and I love it. Yeah, definitely. I think like the first one, it's uh, just a lot of fun. Zilla was 90 meters tall in Godzilla: Final Wars. I think he what he was 50 in 1998. All right, I got one Rodan, one Mechagodzilla. Somebody break the tie. Radon. Yes, the original name. So we go with Radon, Rodan. One thing I'll say about this game, the, just the cities and the way they're laid out, I, I think are just amazing. Um, I don't know if this is the level I like. The level I like the most is the level from... Uh, is the, the area of Tokyo where the tax building is from Godzilla versus uh, King Ghidorah. That building is gigantic and it towers over Godzilla, so when you knock it down, it just it looks cool. Um, Best Bros Play says, The movie theaters just recently opened up again where I live, so I'm going to see GVK next week. Enjoy! Um, yeah, I... Oh shit, I'm being timed in this level. Alright, I can't fuck around. Alright, get out of the effing way. Yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong, that movie was fucking made for IMAX. When Godzilla 2014 came out, um... I saw that in IMAX, uh, like the night before or whatever, like the midnight show and whatever they do, and and that roar of the uh, the MonsterVerse Godzilla, they really played it up. Uh, seeing that in IMAX, I remember my body was like shaking. That was that was awesome. 
I hate that I'm being timed. I don't like being timed. Here he is. Rodan this. We destroy this generator. I don't take care of our old friend. I gotta rewatch the original Rodan. I recently uh, rewatched Mothra from 1961 in preparation for uh, Tokyo SOS. Really good. All those original like movies for each monster are fantastic. They really are. Before they got to. And I know a lot of people love the silly, you know, the silly show era stuff, but I feel like these movies were kind of different in that, you know, they took the monsters seriously in the sense they were telling a story. Boom. It's actually really satisfying knocking him out of the air. Oh! Sorry, Rodan. Boom. I'll read some of my comments while I'm spamming the <laughs> I'm just spamming the punch but oh my god Rodan's got some pretty good moves so I can't just look away uh, I gotta take care of Rodan oh right and I'm being timed I think I gotta destroy the fucking generators yeah. right, I got Quick work of him. I don't think I need to. Uh, you know what? I fucked up. I don't think I need to kill Rodan. I think I gotta kill the generators within the next two minutes. So I'm gonna ignore Rodan. Take care of these first. I want this game on the Nintendo Switch, says Marcus1954. Yeah, that'd be fun. Switch is a fun system. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. How freaking slow Godzilla moves. Alright. One down. We're out of time. Get him out of there. Look how I'm accidentally killing Rodan. I'm not even trying it. Just run, you slow bastard. Alright, so I actually wish I was the 1998 Godzilla right now, so then I'd get over there a lot quicker. Uh, get over there, you fat bastard. Oh my god, so many buildings in the way. It's the first time buildings ever stopped Godzilla. All right, we're up against the clock here, boys. Oh, Dan, don't bother me right now. Ha! <laughs> Rodan destroyed it. I don't think I did. Thank you, my friend. You truly are Godzilla's ally. All right, time to end this. Boom. Right, I'll look at some of the comments now. Do you think that Zilla should get a SH Monster Arts figure? Yeah, why not? I mean, they've made a, so many of them. I used to buy the um, SH Monster Arts ones, but I think I just like statues now more. I don't, I don't have a lot of that stuff anymore, but I used to. Then I had a house fire in law. I had a ha my family had a house fire like almost ten years ago. And we lost, I lost like a lot of childhood stuff. So I used to have all the Godzilla uh, Showa era VHSs. Most of them. I don't think I had Son of Godzilla. And maybe one other. Uh, but I used to have all of them. And then I lost them all in the fire, unfortunately. But then they released that sweet Showa era set, the Criterion Collection. Um, it's really nice. Godzilla needs roller skates. Yes, he does. 
So yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Oh, nice. We're getting Mecha King Ghidorah here. It's fucking awesome. Just give me one second. Was it the 18 Godzilla from Schenectady? <laughs> we will do an audio. <laughs> uh... Mecha King Ghidra. So here's the thing. Are we... What do we do here? We do Ghidorah or we do Ghidra? I say it differently in different videos. It's Ghidorah, right? Because I, I feel like people fight about this and I get, I get different comments conflicting. Uh, I've been saying King Ghidorah, but in some videos I say Ghidorah. Ghidorah. Yeah. Alright, let's roll. This, hopefully this is the level I like where Mecha King Ghidorah actually appeared in the movies. Oh no. This isn't the level I like. We're just in the friggin' water. We're just in the ocean. Destroy all G energy submarines. I don't remember this. Maybe I'm playing so bit. Oh shit! All right, let's dance. So apparently Mecha King Ghidorah is not in the PlayStation 3 version of this game. That's what I read. Yeah, suck on that. Ah, shit, he can do it too. Let's dance, bang. Get my ass kicked. What do you do when you get your ass kicked? You do the JoJo strategy, you run away. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to hide. We're just in the middle of the fucking ocean. I'm sure, in Tokyo Bay, I think. Let's hit him with this. I don't know if it's embarrassing or not, but I've died multiple times playing this game, even though it's pretty. I think it's a pretty easy game. I, I've died multiple times. I might die here, because I can't get my ass here. You know, it actually is pretty cool that is kind of reflective of the movies from the Heisei era, is you only die in this game if you get hit like a consecutive amount without being able to heal. So you're like, you can regenerate. Yeah, I should start using the roar to defend my ass. One of you suggested earlier. Eat this! Ha! <laughs> that fucking jet just smashed into my head and went flying. That was great. Gotta use more tail. Alright, I'll use more tail. But first, let me charge in like an idiot. Yeah, the tail probably has the best reach. Well, that was bad timing. Alright, tail time. Shit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, once again, running with the moron. <laughs> Rip his head off. <laughs> more tail. I'm giving him more tail. You're all witnessing how bad I am with the video games right now. Oh, shit. Alright, I gotta play a little conservative now. Roar, damn it. Boom. Blow off one of your heads. Oh, I gotta be careful. I got it. Oh shit, did I die? <laughs> Man, I was close. I don't know, boys. This is gonna be a close one. Greatest battle Tokyo Bay's ever seen. I'm just assuming we're in Tokyo Bay. I have no idea.
Push. Ah, I'm sorry, I killed a bunch of F-15s right there. I'm assuming they're F-15s. I know Japan purchased like a shit ton of the United States F-15s back in the 80s. Boom. Yeah, you all just witnessed how bad I am at this. Bro, there needs to be Godzilla games on PC. I want a PC port of this and the Pipeworks fighting games. I was actually shocked there nobody's been able to make a port of this. I mean, I think somebody pointed it out before. This game wasn't wasn't received well. Uh, I gotta look into that though. I'm just kind of speaking off the cuff right now, but I loved it. I mean, as a Godzilla fan, it's like there's so many cool references and you know the fact that you you're just Godzilla. You're just in a city. Destroying, you're just destroying a city. There's no bullshit. You, you fight a monster to each level. You fight some of the human weapons. Like it's just straightforward. Like this is the game. I, I'm sure most of you, you've, you've, most of you watching, have seen the Angry Video Game Nerds video on Godzilla games. He was right in that video. Like when we were, well, he's like a little older than me, but even when I was a kid, like there weren't many good Godzilla games. And all I wanted, because I wasn't a fighting game fan per se. I just wanted a game where I'm Godzilla, I walk through the city, and I destroy shit. That's all I wanted. And that's what this game is. So I was, like, really happy when I played this for the first time. Alright. Sort of like a Godzilla movie simulator. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a good way of putting it. Um, you can emulate the Pipes Work trilogy on PC. Oh, alright. So from Gaijin Grim Grimpora, the only reason it wasn't received well outside of Japan is because people were expecting to have the same fighting as the Pipeworks games, not to have the ability to play through a Godzilla game. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to act like the fighting in this game is all that great. Probably from a comp I would imagine people, I don't know if anybody plays this competitively, God knows, but if people do, I'm sure this isn't popular, <laughs> considering they just stopped making the damn thing. Yeah, it's more of a Godzilla simulator than a fighting game. That's a good way to put it, yeah. It's like a Godzilla simulator, and I kind of love that. There's even a diorama mode. Um, so there you go. All right, should I fight Gigan? And I guess another... Is somebody else in there? Or should I do the hard mode? I don't know who this is going to be. Gigan, rise. All right, I'll, I'll do it for you, sir. Let's do Gigan. Oh, we're changing prime ministers. I have no idea. I I think that has to do with the difficulty. Chujo is now in charge. We'll pretend he's the Chujo from Mothra. Hard mode is Biolanti or Hedera. Shit, I kind of wanted to fight Biolanti. Yeah, whatever. Next time, I'll fight Biolanti. Yeah, so I've never streamed before, so uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job. This is my first time streaming. So you got like about 50 people watching. That's not bad, right? I don't know how this works. Like, oh, is this the level I like? With the gigantic fucking buildings. Whatever, the buildings are big in this level, and I just like any level where the buildings are bigger than Godzilla. I think it looks nice. Which is interesting, considering, you know, as time went on, especially... You know, from Showa era to Heisei era, they started making Godzilla bigger. Because the buildings around him were bigger. Like in Ga Godzilla, uh, the return of Godzilla in 1984. They made him bigger because the Tokyo skyline had gotten bigger in the years since Godzilla's absence. It's like, okay, who cares though? I, I liked him, I like him at 50 meters. Honestly, I'm fine with that. I, I, I think it, it makes the battles more interesting when they're, you know, like a building can get knocked on top of him. I think that's awesome. And then you remember, Gigan only appeared in three movies. Well, a lot of monsters in the Godzilla franchise don't appear in a lot of movies, let's be honest. Like, how many movies has Angerus appeared in? Four, maybe? Four or five? 
He's probably one of the most recurring Godzilla people. Rodan. Actually, Mechagodzilla is not one. Mechagodzilla is probably the most popular Godzilla villain. Most well known. Mechagodzilla has been in six movies, says Super Vegito. Yeah. I mean, he's. They use Mechagodzilla a lot. It's just a fun character. I loved when he was in the Ready Player One. That was that was fucking awesome. So I think in the book he's a, he was originally supposed to be, not in the book, but originally the guy who wrote the book wanted him to be Ultraman, or it was something like that. I know Ultraman was supposed to appear or some shit, uh, but it ended up being Mechagodzilla. I'm actually curious why Toho didn't let him just use Godzilla. What about Batra? So Batra was only in, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, he was only in Godzilla vs. Mothra, right? Which, by the way, I know nobody, I feel like nobody likes Godzilla vs. Mothra because the story, whenever you see criticisms, criticisms of that movie, it'll be, well, Godzilla vs. Mothra sucks because all it is is a Mothra movie and then they just sort of inserted Godzilla. It's like, I think that's what makes it kind of interesting because it's supposed to be this like traditional good versus evil movie and then you just throw Godzilla in there and it's like wait what the hell is gonna happen Godzilla's the bad guy not like the actual bad guy of that movie isn't the bad guy Godzilla is because <laughs> Godzilla's a badass he just takes over the villain role it's it's great I love that shit all right let's see oh I got some there jet engine um Geisler says, I think Ultraman is one of the character characters' avatar in the book, but they replaced him with the Iron Giant in the movie. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I think only, Batcher only appeared once. It would have just been that movie. I think some people confuse Batcher with uh, Megagirus. They're very similar. Megagirus, though, is fucking terrifying. His face, just like a scary looking monster, man. Big ass building. I guess it was it's supposed to be an airport. There's a runway over here, so maybe it is an airport. I don't know. Angerus has appeared in four movies: Destroy All Monsters, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Godzilla vs. Gigan, and Godzilla: Final Wars. Um, sounds correct to me. Wait, what about Godzilla Raids again? Oh, you missed his first movie. How could you forget poor Ankla Dukla Dillo's first movie like that? Freaking monster gets no respect. It's the Rodney Dangerfield of Kaiju. Gets no respect. Alright, let me just destroy this fucking generator. End this shit. Let's make Gigan appear already. Super Vegito says Shin Godzilla is weird. I loved Shin Godzilla, but I understand people thinking it's weird because it absolutely is weird. Um, I mean, you get the guy from Evangelion making a Godzilla movie, that's what you get. I think, with, I think the only thing that could... Wait a minute, wasn't I supposed to fight somebody? Where was Gigan? Where did I... What the hell happened? Did I finish the level before Gigan could appear? Is that why that happened? Shit. Sorry, anybody who wanted <laughs> Gigan to appear, I fucked it up. <laughs> uh, Darth, Darth Baldi, do you think the MonsterVerse will continue? Yeah, probably, because it made uh, Godzilla vs. Kong apparently made a lot of money, so why not? Um, Story-wise, so I don't know if this is accurate, but story-wise I read that um, Wingard and... Um, I apologize, I forgot the, the last name of the director of King of, the, King of the Monsters. He wanted to make a movie about 
the origins of Titans. I'm going to be honest that I wouldn't really be into that. I just want to see Godzilla fight other monsters. Like, just give me Godzilla fighting other monsters. I don't need all this prequel stuff. I don't need that. I prefer to play this game with English audio. I'm not judging. Hey, man. I'm not judging either. I'm actually um, I'm learning Japanese. Uh, I started taking lessons, so... But I have terrible study habits, so don't expect improvement. <laughs> have you seen the Singular Point anime? No, not yet. Uh, I'm waiting like all the other Americans for the June 24th, I believe, in, on Netflix. But yeah, with the MonsterVerse, um, I have, you know, I have my gripes. Uh, but King of the Monsters, I, I loved, and I have kind of a sentimental, sentimental reason for loving it. I'll, I'm not gonna get into that now, but I'll get into that when I do my video on it eventually. Um, I think my big problem, and I kind of talked about this in my Godzilla vs Kong reaction video, there's like all these monsters in the MonsterVerse. Let's see Godzilla fight them. Like they showed that entire bracket of Godzilla. You know, that, that like tournament bracket at the beginning of the movie. By the way, this is my favorite level in the whole game. It's that gigantic tax building back there. So the Japanese, it was like cathartic for the Japanese to watch Godzilla and Ghidorah destroy that building in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah because this is where all the taxes go apparently. Like, or it's like, kind of like the IRS, I guess. I guess it's like the Metropolitan. I forgot what it's called, but it's an important government building. I'm not going to destroy it yet. I don't want to wait for the monster to come. Super Rex, whatever the hell's coming. But I, with the monster verse, I just wanted to see Godzilla fight a lot more of the monsters. Like, he could have fought that giant spider. I forgot its name. Skillia, whatever the hell it's called. It's, I don't know. But I know there's like a lot of like third party material that really kind of gives detail to the rest of the monsters. Like Godzilla's predecessor, uh, Dagon, but the Godzilla before Godzilla in the MonsterVerse. Like that stuff, uh, I'm not really, like I'm not into that crap. I kind of just like when Godzilla is his own entity and I don't want to know that he's a species or anything. Like he's just Godzilla, he's a giant monster, it's his own thing. Alright, I think this is the Super X from The Return of Godzilla. What's funny about that movie is... If they would have just piloted that damn thing a little better, they could have killed Godzilla. That weapon they were using was working on him. The cadmium or whatever the hell it was. Might not be thinking of the right movie, but I'm pretty sure they had they had Godzilla down for the count. Then the uh, the lightning storm woke him up from the uh, the nuclear bomb going off. Oh shit! There's there's another one. I actually have a hard time fighting these. It's hard. Sometimes it'd be hard to hit them. But yeah, uh, I'm not really a fan of the third-party stuff. Like, if you're gonna talk, if you're gonna have monsters in your cinematic universe, have Godzilla fight them, or have have them fight each other. Do something like that. I don't. Like, I thought Godzilla 2014, I loved, but like the Muto, that was like the most. I just thought it was a very generic design. Um, it reminded me of Cloverfield. You know, sort of just on a like. Maybe they couldn't get the rights at the time to any of the other Japanese monsters, so they just made their own. I don't know. They could have made something a little more creative. And then there's like there's a comic I think uh, or a graphic novel. I don't know what the hell it is, where Godzilla fights like the the Queen Muto, like Muto Prime. It's like, well, why the fuck isn't that in the movie, then? I want to watch that. I want to watch him fight the Muto that's, like, the big bad. I don't want to, like, why did, you know, if you have that idea, put it in the fucking movie. But that shit drives me nuts. And I know it's, and I'm not acting like an old man right now, where it's like, oh, the, this is what they're doing nowadays. Like, no, they've been doing this stuff forever, where they'll, like, have supplementary material for movies. But I think now it's, like, gone into overdrive, where... They put more effort into the third-party stuff than they do the actual thing, the actual main event. Alright, I can't hit this son of a bitch. Sorry, I'm... 
I'm trying to look at the comments, but I'm also trying to fight two two on one right now. I'll look at them in a moment. Let me take care of one of these bastards first. Boom. Yeah, eat shit. Alright, you should have just hit him with... Oh, oh, yeah, he goes away. I'll spare him. See, this one's cool, because this is the one from Godzilla vs. Biolanti that'll actually reflect the uh, atomic breath back at you. See, that's like a nice little touch right there. Again, you know, it's not like a great game by any means, but if you're a Godzilla fan, it just has a lot of cool stuff like that in it. Oh, fuck, I just... I kind of wanted to just show it work. Yeah, well, you can't defend against this. Yeah, the nuclear pulse attack is kind of just like the Heisei version. The Heisei era Godzilla's uh, trump card. Like, whenever he was in trouble, he just used that. Then he's going to fight. I actually want to destroy him. I don't want him to go away. Come on, one more shot. Bang! You're done. Oh, uh, there's one more generator. I'll look at the, uh... Sorry, I'll look at some of your comments now, I apologize. Okay. I'd prefer more Toho monsters. Darth Baldi says I'd prefer more Toho monsters in the Monsterverse, opposed to ones Legendary created. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't think they created anything that special, to be honest. Well, anything special that they used in a meaningful way, anyway. I mean, the skull crawlers were cool, definitely, um, but they'd be too small for Godzilla. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just looking through. Uh, Gaijin from Pora says, Heisei era was honestly my favorite era. Um, yeah, I'll probably get a lot of shit for this, but I think it was my favorite too, out of all the movies. But I'm again, I'm good. I go back and forth on this, and obviously if you follow my channel, you know I'm going to be redoing my show era videos. So, I don't know. Watching them over again, I might reconsider, but I do love the Heisei era. Uh, Socially Normal also says Heisei is easily my favorite Godzilla era. Um, Gaijin Grimpora says, The story behind the Mutos is because of how Roland Emmerich treated Godzilla in 1998. Toho was hesitant to give Legendary the rights to any monster other than Godzilla. That makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I'd be worried, too. But you know what? And I mentioned this in my video on the 1998 Godzilla. Listen, Toho, they knew what Roland Emmerich was going to do. Like, it wasn't like they didn't know. Like, they saw the design. Um, I think at the time, though, they were just like, you know what? We don't have any other offers. And this is going to make us a lot of money. And it did. It absolutely did. And another thing about making that 1998 video was I realized, as much as I didn't really, you know, as much as that movie disappointed me, a lot of people that was their first experience with Godzilla and it it drove a lot of people to watch the older movies so from that standpoint it was successful in that it, it got pe it got people into Godzilla that otherwise wouldn't have been um, I also got a lot of that with Godzilla 2000 a lot of people like that movie too I kind of got them into it Jason Best says that what that's why you did Godzilla vs. Kong OG and Raid again this far into the retrospect. Yeah, so I wanted to have I wanted to do the redo of Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, you know, I wanted to actually be timely for once. I know my videos aren't timely, but I wanted it to be like, all right, the new movie's coming out. This would be a good chance um, to put it out. And I got a lot of it kind of worked out nicely. I got a lot of subscribers because I guess I released that video on the proper time. Um, Shadow Bonnie Animations said, asked, what's your favorite Godzilla movie? Um, that's a tough one. Um, I, whenever somebody asks me what's my favorite Godzilla movie, I'm not going to include the original in it because that's just sort of like a cop-out answer. If It's like, all right, yeah, the original, what else? Because um, the original movie is just sort of its own deal. Uh, my favorite... 
for sentimental reasons, I'm going to say my favorite Godzilla movie is uh, Ghidorah, the Three-Headed Monster, because that was the first Godzilla movie I ever watched. Um, and I still like watching that movie. It's really fun to see Godzilla, who's this bad guy, become a good guy for the first time and uh, save the world, sort of begrudgingly. Um, I kind of like that. That was kind of cool. Um, and I know this is probably going to piss some people off, but I really love Shin Godzilla. Um, I think Shin Godzilla is a good... Um, Shin Godzilla is kind of like a equivalent to the original in terms of like the, the time period. Like this is this time period's Godzilla. Um, whereas, uh, you know, nuclear weapons was the threat back then. And, the, you know, the obvious metaphor or allegory there. Um, in Shin Godzilla, there seems to be a, a very powerful message about the First of all, the unity of the Japanese people working together, but also, um, you know, there's a criticism of the bureaucracy at the time. Uh, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff packed in there. Again, I'll get into that when I do the video on Shin Godzilla. Um, just, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up on all the, the comments. <clears throat> Socially Normal says, I'm going to die for this, but I prefer Shin over 1954. Well, it's not like, a, it's not like sacrilegious to say that, you know? Because it's like, well, first of all, these are, I'm joking. Like, it's like hyperbole. These are movies. They're not, it's not a religion. Um, but, you know, like I said, Shin Godzilla is sort of like a modern day version of the original. And I think that's, and I think it was treated that way in some respects in terms of how, um, serious it was you know and it might sound funny saying how serious it was and then you go and look at the first or second form of shin godzilla and you start laughing because it looks like a, a muppet but you know th that thing was uh very destructive and it, it was kind of played off like a scary movie in some ways uh redirect 2 says and that who will I know song during his atomic breath scene was amazing. Yeah, the mu the music in that was just A plus. I also like that they used the um, Evangelion stuff. The Evangelion music in there as well. Oh nice, I get to fight Destroyer. Destal Roya. Guy Jin Grimpora says, Gojira was a warning against the use of nuclear testing, and Shin Gojira was meant to criticize the response rate of the Japanese government, yeah, to Fuku Fukushima, and the various other recent disasters. Yeah, exactly, I forgot, I apologize, I forgot to mention that. Um, and you see it, you know, kind of an illusion, you know how in 1954 there's just right on the nose stuff with the um, Echo Maro and Bingo Maro getting destroyed, a reference to the Lucky Dragon incident, um, to the Fukushima nuclear reactor incident there's the obvious reference to that is when the i believe that in the beginning of shin godzilla those tunnels start flooding and then obviously the bureaucratic response is just god awful um Michael Cole, that just makes me think of uh, Tubby WF. Michael Cole says, Shin Godzilla's evolution in mutation and mutation is really interesting. If you haven't watched vids as to what all those tail creatures were to become, you should. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to, obviously, whenever the hell I get up to Shin Godzilla, I'm going to do a deep dive and just get to all the theories. In my videos, I, tr I know my videos have generally been very long, um, which some people like, some people don't like. Um... But the reason I make them long is because I'm just going to put anything that I found interesting in the video. If I don't find it interesting, it's not that I didn't like know this or know that or I forgot something. And, and I do forget things sometimes, but it's usually because like, eh, I didn't think this was interesting, so I didn't include it. You know, uh, uh, my videos, I try to do it like 95% the history, maybe like 5% my thoughts on it. <clears throat> All right. Oh, they have that giant, the giant Ferris wheel from uh, Godzilla vs. Mothra. The, what the hell is it called again? I talked about it in my video and I started getting really into the freaking biggest Ferris wheels in the world. <laughs> Forgot what it's called. It's like the... I don't know, somebody can look it up for me. I can't look it up right now. 
Yeah, every time they showed a Chin Godzilla, another meeting was taking place. It, it was. It was funny. It was actually like, it was like dark. It was kind of like dark comedy in some aspects to that. Because you got this fucking snowballing disaster going on. The government just keeps moving from room to room, having meetings, and nothing is getting done. Alright, so this is actually going to be interesting because... I'm only 75 meters, and Destroya, I think he always appears as 100 meters, so this should... I might get my ass kicked, because I just haven't been destroying everything, because I just, it's too tedious, and I don't want to deal with it. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about my videos or anything you want to ask me, uh, fire away. Oh shit, it's a Gotengo. I'll be talking about that in a few weeks, when I do Final Wars. Hard to hit this son of a bitch. So I watched Godzilla. I'll give you guys a sneak preview of my thoughts to Final Wars. I watched Final Wars a few weeks ago for the first time. I had never seen Final Wars. A lot of them, like I think I mentioned it in my video, a lot of the Millennium Era movies I hadn't seen. So I finally watched Final Wars. Listen, I get it. It's supposed to be a tribute to the Showa era. And I liked the show era, but I did not like Final Wars. I just thought it was just too... Like, I didn't like the Matrix stuff. I didn't like... The... I really did not like the human uh, story. Uh, the UFC guy or MMA guy, he was great. It's probably the best part of the whole fucking movie. Because it's just funny. Um, I liked seeing Akira Takarada make his appearance. That's great. You know, there's like a lot of good... There's Godzilla love in that movie, you know? There's like Godzilla history in that movie. Obviously, the director was sort of trying to make a best of, I think. But I didn't like it as a movie. And I'll say it right now, the music in that movie... What the hell were they thinking? It's like a Saturday morning cartoon. The music they use in that movie. I'm like, what the hell is this? Where's Godzilla's theme? Where, Where is... Just, I don't even care if Godzilla's theme was in it. Just give me some music that actually sounds normal like it was very odd the musical choice in Godzilla Final Wars was so weird um, and I know there's some people that love that movie and whatnot my only experience with that movie before watching it was watching um, James Rolfe's uh, Godzilla thon where he's just like yeah they Godzilla just fights all the monsters but that's actually like a very small part of the movie like he only like, the fight scenes are just so short a plus in that movie though is our pal King Caesar shows up. And I love King Caesar. What the hell is that sound? What the hell's happening? Oh, did I, did I fuck up? Shit, I wasn't paying attention to the time. Godzilla lost, everybody. I apologize. <laughs> so does that mean I, it's like game over? Whoops. See, I was going on a rant about the music in Godzilla Final Wars, and that's why I lost. Oh, now Space Godzilla's gonna show up. That's fine. Let me look at some of the chat. Uh... Uh, so socially normal asks oh, sorry I'm, I'm trying to get to everything sorry let me answer a few questions okay so marco verdon asks hey bill what's your favorite goji suit um godzilla versus biolanthe the 1989 suit so i guess that's the bio goji suit um socially normal asks hey bill what is your favorite heisei godzilla film i think i put my rankings in one of the videos I think it is Godzilla vs. Biolanti but again it's yeah, it's not an exact science it's, I, I like them all pretty much um let's see Staraptor Gaming 3323 says hey Godzilla Final Wars is my favorite movie I'm sorry <laughs> hey it's very it's a very subjective thing we all like we like what we like what are you gonna do um, Jason Beth at one point if I said if I wanted to see a human fight in a Godzilla movie I'd go watch Ultraman <laughs> yeah I mean it was just I, I get it they were going for that whole like 
um, invasion of Astro Monster feel or destroy all monsters feel with that movie, and that's fine. Um, I guess I'm more of a fan of when Godzilla is in a modern environment. Because um, I like seeing what the modern day government would do against Godzilla. It's kind of like with Independence Day. Like, Independence Day was a great movie because you got to see what the the current, like, United States government, the current, you know, world governments would do against an alien invasion. And then when they finally made a sequel to Independence Day, I really didn't give a shit because I'm like, well, this is now a fictional world. And I know it's all fiction, but you know what I mean? Where, like, this world that the sequel to Independence Day exists in is now not in any way related to the world we live in. So, like, I have no connection to what's going on in this movie. It's just sort of like, blah. Like, there was something cool about Independence Day, seeing um, them destroy the Empire State Building, the White House, all that stuff. So that was... That's with that. Um, let me see. Uh, Mega Shady, who's your favorite Mecha? Mine is Kiru, and I wish I can see more of him. Who is your favorite Mecha? Uh, it's probably Kiru. After watching those two movies recently, that... I, I thought that was a great idea, having the soul of Godzilla, the original Godzilla, be inside it, of it. Um, okay, so Big Al Games ask if you could have the Godzilla franchise. Um, if you could have the Godzilla franchise do a crossover with any other franchise, regardless of ownership rights, which would it be? Well, obviously Fast and the Furious. No, I'm joking. Um, I heard they're going to do a Fast and the Furious Jurassic Park crossover i don't know if that's a meme or if that's real but i I, heard I saw that somewhere i fucking laughed my ass off um i guess i would do and i know they sort of already did this with shin godzilla but i'd love to see like an ava evangelion godzilla thing i know i think they already did that with the ride that they have in japan and universal um i'll talk about that more when i get to shin godzilla i'm trying to think of any others i would do like a crossover with Godzilla. Well, I guess the obvious one would be Gamera. Like, let's just get it on already. Let's see Gamera versus Godzilla uh, in a big time, big time movie. I think Godzilla should cross over with Sentai, Jason Best. Yeah. Or Ultraman. I think, God, didn't Godzilla appear like in an Ultraman episode? Somebody could check me on that. Staraptor Gaming says I, I will do Star Wars. <laughs> Yeah, that would be pretty funny. Godzilla and Star Wars. Alright, I have to actually concentrate so if I don't look at the comments for a bit, I apologize. I don't want the time to run out again. I actually want to see Space Godzilla. I'm going to ignore the Gotengo. Godzilla Final Wars will not distract me again. Blaster2187 says, So, have you seen Pacific Rim? Oh, you know what? That's a good point. I would like to see that crossover. Um, because I think Pacific Rim came out right before, or like a few years before the 2014 Godzilla. And a lot of people are like, this is what the new Godzilla should be like. It should be like this Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim, that first movie was awesome. I, I thought it was fantastic. And I guess it got people thinking. It's like, all right, like, do this with Godzilla now. Um, and I was kind of with them. I'm like, yeah do something like that. I think King of the Monsters is a little more like uh, Pacific Rim than 2014 Godzilla. 2014 Godzilla is very just, I guess the word is dark that somebody would use. Uh, pretty straightforward. Very, They play it straight. It's very serious. Whereas King of the Monsters is like, they have a little more fun with it, I guess. I think the monster that stole the show in King of the Monsters was uh, Rodan. I thought Rodan's scene was one of the better scenes in the movie. If not the best. I thought that was great how they led Rodan right into King Ghidorah. Like, the whole thing was cool. Also, Rodan's design is amazing. It's like the lava and the fire on the tips of the wings. Fucking awesome. Alright, let me destroy this. Get out of the way. Uh, Joey Sullivan, the man, asks, who would be the true champ, Godzilla or Gamera? Well, according to that death, what is it, death battles? I think they had Godzilla and Gamera fight and they had Godzilla win. Um, I mean, I would be rooting for Godzilla. 
just because I'm biased, but I think Godzilla should win. It's more powerful. Alright, so I guess I gotta kill the uh, Gotengo before we get Space Godzilla. Where the hell is it? There he is. It would be funny if that, uh, that MMA fighter just, <laughs> just appeared on the screen while I'm fighting the Gotengo. Which, by the way, this just reminds me of the Egg Carrier from Sonic Adventure. Behold my floating masterpiece, the Egg Carrier. Sonic Adventure, those fucking games kicked ass. Uh, Marco Verdon asks, underrated and overrated Godzilla films? Underrated, um, I think I kind of talked about this earlier. Underrated, I would, <laughs> the Gotango just destroyed that fucking building. Underrated, I would say, is Godzilla vs. Mothra. I like that movie a lot. Overrated? Huh. Overrated Godzilla movie. Oh, for now, I'll say Godzilla vs. Gigan. I think a lot of people love that movie. I, my first few watches, I didn't. But I'll say this. Uh, in my defense, I watched that movie, uh, the English dub. The English dubbing of that movie, I think. I don't think I've watched the Japanese version. So I'm going to be rewatching it. And obviously... I'm going to be redoing that video, so maybe I'll feel differently about it. Oh! There's Space Godzilla. He didn't get a cool intro, though. I don't know why. Alright. Give me my son back. So it's funny, when I was doing my Godzilla versus Space Godzilla... Wow, he's just a lot bigger than me. Oh, shit! I didn't know he could do that. It's awesome. He's got the crystals in the ground and everything. Yeah, well, I could do this, asshole. Uh, when I was doing my Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla video, I thought originally in that movie that he kidnaps the little Godzilla. But apparently he just traps him in that little crystal. And he's kicking my ass. Hey, Bill, which Godzilla film do you think is overhated? Um, so you guys probably already know. I don't, I don't, besides when I talk to you guys, like, on the comments and what, you know, whatever, when I do my research, I don't really know the general consensus among Godzilla fans on certain things, but I know a lot of people like Final Wars. At least that's what I, I hear. Uh, I know people like Final Wars, and I don't, but... Overhated. Uh, well, I think a lot of people hated Shin Godzilla. Like a lot of got some like Godzilla fans didn't like Shin Godzilla. The, the design. And I'll be honest. The first time I saw the the Shin Godzilla design, I was like, "What the fuck is that? This isn't Godzilla. This isn't a Godzilla movie." Um, I changed my mind when I watched it. I thought it was amazing. You know, you can take a risk. You know, it's not, there's nothing wrong with taking a risk with an original character. I think sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But it is a risk. It's inherently a risk. So, like the Netflix uh, animated trilogy with Godzilla. Um, I didn't really hate it or like it. It was just sort of like whatever. I thought, you know what? They tried something new. A lot of people hated it, uh, I think. Like, that's just judging from, like, the ratings I see. But at the same time, I, I think there you'd probably find people defending it. Oh, that was pretty cool. You'd probably find people defending it because it's like, hey, they took a risk. We've we've seen like 30 movies of Godzilla, 30 plus movies of Godzilla doing the same shit. They tried something different. Like, calm down. But you know what? When you mess with an original character, you're 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 putting yourself at risk for those sorts of uh, critics. So. Again, I, I thought of the animated trilogy. They tried to do something new, which is cool. There were some moments I really liked, uh, but I don't think it needed to be three movies, that's for sure. I thought that could have been one or two movies. So yeah, I thought the... Oh, fuck, I died again. God, I suck. All right, well, this gives me a chance to look at... Uh, 
some of the comments here. Uh, oh, thank you for the nice comment, Matt Treister. Uh, Etheral says, I think most people dislike Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan, but just like Gigan. Uh, yeah, maybe that's true. I know a lot of people love Gigan. <laughs> Unplugged Bug says Shin sucked. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A lot of people did not like Shin Godzilla. Uh, when will the history of Final Wars come? I'm working on it. I would say my goal is to get it out before the end of this month. And then I'll start jumping into the show era. Um, Disguise Mecha Godzilla said the Godzilla anime trilogy was just boring to me. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I was getting at with, like, I think they kind of got bogged down a bit with the Mechagodzilla City, which, again, I don't, Mechagodzilla City, whatever, like, that's the idea you have, fine. I don't think it should have been its own movie, though. I think it kind of just bogged the whole thing down. I just wanted to see Godzilla fight Ghidorah, and I thought Ghidorah was cool. I liked that whole concept. I love the idea of them being in that space station and their sensors already detecting them as dead. But they haven't died yet because Ghidorah is kind of like bending time and space. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, but overall, it was just sort of whatever. Um, Catman says, I don't really like any of the singular point designs. I liked Godzilla's at first, but the more I see it, the less I like it. Yeah, I saw the full... Again, I don't want to spoil singular at all. I'm not going to talk about anything that I know specifically. Um, I haven't watched any of it yet, but I saw the design for the like, kind of what Godzilla is supposed to be it's, it's definitely different um, I'm not really a fan of how he looks but that, that's not saying anything about the anime I might think it's great uh, Unplugged Bug says Shin Godzilla was a mess <laughs> uh, Ryan Leary hit the mic voice one time listen Ryan we're not doing Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. wait a second we're not doing Mike Francesa today alright we're doing Godzilla so call back when we're doing Francesa I kind of already sound like Mike even in my normal voice so it's it's okay um, Straptor says Godzilla anime had too much gore I don't know if you're talking about Singular Point or the Netflix one because um, I know some people have already seen the Singular Point uh, I'm trying to think of the the trilogy the Netflix trilogy had a lot of gore um, I mean a lot of people die in it that's for sure I mean literally well I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't watched it yet uh, okay Happy Stalker Gaming asks, will you ever do the history of 2014 movie? Yeah, I'm going to do the the Reiwa era and the MonsterVerse movies probably next year. I think it, it's probably good to just give that, you know, give the MonsterVerse some time to breathe. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look funny regardless when I start doing those movies, when I'm saying, like, the history of Godzilla versus Kong when, you know, the movie's, like, only a couple years old by that point or something. It's going to look Titles gonna look a little silly, but whatever, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Spicy Wiener <laughs> seven seven. <laughs> Sorry, I'm five years old. I think that's a funny name. Shin Godzilla was actually weird and scary again. Also, relevant themes of Godzilla as nuclear and natural disaster and government incompetence. The Japanese American character was also hilarious. Yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot in Shin Godzilla. There's a lot that's obvious. There's a lot that's a little bit under the surface. It's a lot of a lot of stuff you can point to there. Um, Joey Sullivan, the man, says Shin Godzilla was better than Godzilla Earth, to be honest. Oh, I mean, I agree. Sure, there's some people that would disagree, but I agree. Godzilla anime Netflix should have just been one movie. Yeah, one or two movie. Uh, well, you're welcome, Ryan. Listen, we're going to do an audio later, okay? Imagine if Mike Francesa hosted like a Godzilla trivia contest and just played random Godzilla uh audios unplugged bug says anyone feel like godzilla vs kong was too short 2020 to me it felt rushed well i know they they cut a lot out because they had to they did a screening initially and apparently it didn't didn't go well I, uh, unless i'm getting my again i haven't researched this totally yet i will when i do my video but i think i remember reading an article that they had to do reshoots for godzilla vs kong uh, Big Al Games says thoughts on the Godzilla versus Olympus slash uh, Olympus slash Godzilla in Hell comics. I've seen panels. I'm not a big comic guy, but I've seen panels of it. It looks really cool. Not gonna lie. 
Alright, everybody hang on. I'm gonna go back to reading comments, but first I just gotta destroy these generators. Because I'm being timed again, damn it. And I apologize, I've now lost twice. Gamed over that game over twice. It's embarrassing for this game. So destroy this. Uh, what just... Serenity Silverheart. This may be an unpopular opinion, but so far I don't think I'm really sold on the mega chunky Godzilla design. Yeah, he's thick. In Godzilla Singular Point, he looks very thick. That lower region. <laughs> uh. Yeah. yeah, I caught up on most of the comments. Plow through this, boys. Don't worry, G Force Operator Waifu. I'll take care of this. Oh, wait, I'm not on your side. I'm actually a bad guy. Whatever. I think there's another mode in this game where you get to defend the city, too. Maybe I'll stream that next time. Alright, I gotta get to that next generator. Let's go, boys. Get on your horse. Let's go, you fat bastard. Ow. That one hurt. Definitely thick. Blow this shit up. You know, I think the biggest complaint I have about this game is the turning. Like, he turns around so slow. Alright. So the timer's off now, so I can kind of relax. How tall is Godzilla in singular point? Singular point? Oh, go to Wikizilla. Yeah, just go to Wikizilla. Wikizilla's great. I use them for a lot of my... Pretty much all my videos. Um, I do have to, like, kind of... Dig a little sometimes, because sometimes there'll be stuff on Wikizilla, uh, Wikizilla, because obviously it's like Wikipedia, anybody can kind of just add stuff, I guess. Um, so sometimes you'll see things on there and it'll be like, wait a minute, is that right? And you'll check and you'll see, like, oh shit, it isn't. Like, for instance, if you look up the director, I was looking this morning, look up the director of Godzilla Final Wars, look him up on Wikizilla. They have a picture of Shogo Tomiyama as his picture. It's the wrong picture. So Wikizilla is great, but you know, it, it's a wiki. There could be wrong stuff on there. I try not to repeat anything without double-checking other sources. Uh, but they're good. They're, they're really good. Caleb Kircher watched a review for this game and it said only Godzilla fans should play it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I, if I wasn't a Godzilla fan, I wouldn't touch this fucking game. <laughs> like, why would you? It's just... You, Somebody, they, some of the guys in the comments are pointing it out earlier. This is a Godzilla simulator. That's what it is. Hello, I am new to the stream. Well, this is my first ever stream, so welcome. You're about to see me get my ass kicked by Space Godzilla again, probably. Space Godzilla this. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, your disc got cracked for this game. Well, it's going to cost you like $200 to buy a new one. Apparently, trying to buy this game is like an expensive endeavor, endeavor now. Sonic plus Godzilla equals Soniczilla. Well, now you got me thinking of uh, Chris Chan. <laughs> Oh, good. The Gotengo's helping me. Good job. Good job. Help me. I need it. He's much bigger than me. Me and the uh, Dr. Robotnik's helping me. The Egg Carrier and Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. Behold my floating masterpiece. The Egg Carrier. Ah, fuck. He betrayed me. Fucking Eggman. 
Alright, I got it. I don't want to die again. Alright, time for the JoJo strategy. I'm running away. Game almost glitched. They almost went out of the zone. Can the Go Tango get the fuck out of my way? The Go Tango can go to hell. That's what I say. It's not helping me anymore. Alright, now it's helping me. Now, now good job. Oh! That was well timed. The egg carrier scene in Sonic Adventure is fucking hilarious. Really, go on YouTube and just watch the him talking about the egg carrier. It's just fucking amazing. Adieu, my friends. The egg carrier. You'll never get past the sky deck. You are now leaving the sky deck. If you guys notice in my videos, sometimes I will throw in that that uh, that line from Tails at the end of Sonic Adventure 1. <laughs> the whole fucking city's destroyed and he's standing there. All's well that ends well. Yeah, except for like the hundreds of thousands of people that just died. Alright. You're, you're getting knocked out of the air, pal. Yeah, eat shit. No! Oh, Dr. Eggman, son of a bitch. Alright, I don't I'm not fucking getting game over again, you fat asshole. Take this. What the Yeah, there's my little Japanese that I do know. A what the Oh, you son of a bitch. No 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 no. Eggman, you son of a bitch! Is it over? Did I win? Or do I have to take down Eggman now? Alright, Godzilla versus Dr. Robot Robotnik, the history of. Here we go. Twenty twenty one's Godzilla versus Dr. Robotnik. Toho producer Shogo Tomiyama. Actually I don't even think he's still the producer. Uh, really wanted to shake things up. That's how I'd start the video up. Uh, why is he harder than Space Godzilla? You may have fooled Knuckles, but you're not going to fool me. He's above me. I can't hit him. The ultimate battle is here. Fire it will. Alright, that was a shitty aim on my part. See, I can't aim it. The game just aims the atomic breath, which I like, but not right now. <laughs> Imagine if Godzilla fought perfect chaos. Chaos Emeralds. Unlocking that final part of Sonic Adventure was like the coolest thing ever when I was a kid. I was just like, oh my god. I also thought Sega Dreamcast had like the best graphics ever. Sega Dreamcast was a fantastic uh, system. I played it so much, I, I just broke the system. I played uh, Sonic Adventure a lot, a lot of NFL 2K. I think NFL 2K is like the greatest football video game ever made. I played the shit out of that until my Dreamcast just stopped working. I think my favorite video game systems, yeah, would probably be Dreamcast and GameCube. Both those are just unbelievable. I'm not saying they're the best, just personally, I thought. Personally, I like them the best. Um, hold on, I'll answer some questions in a second. I'm almost about to beat it. What is that? Dr. Robotnik, sorry, you can't beat Godzilla. Mission is a failure. That's right, it is a failure. You gotta get the Mothra larva to start shooting silk everywhere. That's how you beat him. 
think that's the last. Oh shit, there's another level. Alright, folks. Just give me a minute. I gotta run to the bathroom. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're back. Alright, before I take on Super Mecha Godzilla. Oh man, it would have been nice if I fought Kiru, but we got Super Mecha Godzilla. Let me look at the chat. See if I got any questions here or anything. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Serenity Silverheart, I kind of hope we see Biolanti return someday. I always thought her design was cool. I agree. Um, one of my favorites. Um, Skull Account Fun 10, my sis is proud of me for liking Japanese culture. I actually interviewed the developer of the Godzilla fighting games that were on the PS2, such as Godzilla Save the Earth. That is fucking awesome. That's good stuff. Yeah, I wonder if I'll ever interview anybody. I mean, I've met... I've met um, a couple of folks that work for Toho, but I've never met anybody that's worked directly on a Godzilla film. Um, I'll get into more how I met the Toho people, but I'll save that for another time. Uh, let's see. Godzilla Fan 2021 Productions 2.0 says, Not gonna lie, you're very close to one of Eggman's actor voices. I'll give you that. <laughs> I just love that one line. Behold my floating masterpiece, the Egg Carrier. Uh, Rob Anton Antonets, do you worry about King Kong? Does Kong worry you? Well, to be honest, I wasn't worried about Kong. I was a little, I was a little worried about the axe, but Godzilla took care of that, so that's okay. Uh, Shoal, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but Shoal Account Fun 10. What's your favorite Godzilla roar? Um, the very visceral roar from the return of Godzilla. And I don't know if that, that, I don't think that roar started there. I think it's in the original Godzilla as well. It just doesn't get used much during the show era. It's like that deeper roar. Um, Serenity Silverheart, I think it'd be funny if you're in your Final Wars video you just referred to the Gotengo as Dr. Eggman. Oh, I will. <laughs> uh, okay, catching up. Uh, Big Al Games, you've seen Death Battle. Have you seen Death Battle's Kiru vs. Dragon, Dragon Zord video? Yes, I did, and I love that they I love that they really, you know, they first of all, I love, well, I won't spoil it. You can all watch that yourself. Who wins but uh, I like that Akane was in it that's right pee break or poop no it was a pee break no poop uh, Joey Sullivan the man says Kiru is a beast he beat Godzilla twice what a pro Kiru is awesome you know something I will say about the Kiru arc which is kind of in it's weird I don't want to say Godzilla is an afterthought in those movies because he's not I mean he, he's the main threat in both movies and the second movie he's in a 40 minute battle but he kind of is an afterthought and some I'm probably not describing it right afterthought's probably not the right word but he's not he doesn't seem like the main focus you know Kiru is more the star of the movie 
Goji Kaiju Productions. Are you excited for Godzilla Singular Point? Yes, I am. Smith Wesson, what are your thoughts on the unmade Godzilla vs. Ghost Godzilla movie? I'm just curious as how that would have went. Like, how would that have worked? I think what they did in Godzilla against Mechagodzilla is probably the best way to make it work, whereas the ghost is in a physical thing that he can fight. Like, how would he even fight a ghost? Uh, Goblin's Revenge says the interview, uh, which he did with the creators of some of the Godzilla games, is still up on his channel. So if anyone's interested, check out Goblin's Revenge YouTube channel. Um, so when... uh, Gamblers asks, is Eli Manning an elite quarterback? Well, listen, I, I love Eli Manning. I know him. I don't know him well, but I we're friends. We're best friends. And I think he is an elite quarterback. He's my best friend. Uh... All right, um, so we got Spicy Wiener, whose name will always make me laugh. I agree, but I only saw Godzilla 1985 version, so maybe it's different. I don't know. I was talking about the roar. Smith Lesson. So if Tokyo SOS got a sequel, we could have had Godzilla vs. Ghost Godzilla. Um, we kind of already had it. You know, the ghost was in the mecha. I don't know how he would fight a ghost. That's kind of my issue. It's like, he's how do you fight a ghost? Um... Aaron Cannon, I've always been a fan of the Millennium Roar. To me, it sounds the most like a gigantic predator. It is good, and I kind of accidentally overused it in the intro and outros for both <laughs> both movies. Like, if you check, it's just that roar. <laughs> I use that for the intro and outro. All right, let's fucking kick the shit out of Mechagodzilla. Super Mechagodzilla. All right. Super Mechagodzilla. Super Mecha Godzilla. Now let's skip this shit. Ah, oh, I'm being timed again. Fuck that. Alright, so now I gotta blow this shit up. Plow through these buildings. Hey, we got the Mazer tanks. Do it. Do the thing. Do the Mazer tank thing. Love the Mazer tanks. But now you're going away. <laughs> well, they have the guy screaming in the tank. All right, I didn't want to hump the damn thing. I wanted to punch it. Oh, so Big Sammy, you are the first super chat I've ever gotten. Thank you so much. Uh, I just found your channel yesterday. Really enjoy your content. I haven't seen the newer Godzilla movies. I'm going to watch them this weekend. Well, thank you, Big Sammy. That's very nice of you. Um... Hopefully I continue to make good content, uh, or content that you enjoy. All right, we're getting Super Mecha Godzilla now, with one eye. All right. I love this. I love that they do the whole intro. This is great. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I know that Kiru gets one eye in Tokyo SOS, but does that also have... Alright, he doesn't have one eye in this for some reason. In that little intro scene, he had one eye. Does that happen first to Mechagodzilla 2? I'm just... My memory's shot. Once again, he's much bigger than me, because I'm not playing the game correctly. Alright, eat shit. I'm actually having a pretty easy time against him. So I like Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Um, the fact that they had Rodan fighting Mechagodzilla. It's kind of that triple threat match that I know he does it individually, but it, I wanted. Oh shit, I just got my tits electrified. Clamped my nipples, that wasn't fun. Okay. Suck on that shit. Boom! Alright, nice greatness. Alright, I'm starting to get my ass kicked. Um, but yeah, like in Tokyo SOS, I was excited because I thought we were going to get Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla versus Mothra. But really, we just got Godzilla fighting both of them rather than a triple threat match.
people who are actually good at this game are probably getting so frustrated watching me. <laughs> oh, fucking shit, I forgot about the timer. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to do this over again. I apologize, everybody. Watching me suck at this game, I don't know if it's entertaining or not, so thank you for watching. Alright, game over. Whatever. Language, yeah. I, I curse a lot. And I try not to curse too much in my videos, but at the same time... I don't know how you guys feel about this, but like when I'm doing my videos, I like to just do it in a way like, where I'm like talking to my friends. So, um, you know, I want to use my casual language, which I do curse a lot, but you know, sometimes I try to clean it up. Uh, I know the generators. I apologize. That was my uh, that was my fault. This time I'm going for those generators, and I'm not going to get distracted by Super Mega Godzilla. I have no time to play, Mazer Tanks. We're all business this time. Caleb Kircher says, Rodan pecked his eye out, but when the ship attacked, Mechagodzilla's... Oh, I gotcha. So he did have the eye pecked out, you're right. Rodan did that. Smith Wesson, what if they use motion caption with suits for a sequel instead of just modeling off the figures? Yeah, I mean... That might, I mean, I'm not a... Not an expert in it, but maybe. <laughs> uh, Big Al Games. I feel the passion within swearing drives points forward more. Yes, but I should probably use them at the appropriate times to drive them. Like, if you curse too much, they start to lose their effect. So I gotta be strategic about it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna knock this shit out. Hey! He destroyed the building. I wanted to. I'll fight him in a minute. I gotta take care of this. No, don't get distracted. Ah, thank you, Mecha Godzilla. All right, good. There's no more timer, and I can take my time kicking his ass. Uh, Disguise Mechagodzilla says the Godzilla 1964 model doesn't look good in this game. Yeah, it does look really goofy. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off when I first used it. I was like, ah, oh, this, this isn't great. Oh! It's like his super weapon. Yes, it does have a distinct shortage in uh, different Godzilla versions. Like I, I mean, unless I'm missing something, I don't think 1954 Godzilla is in this game. That should be like, um, for those who played uh, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Tsushima, the samurai game that came out recently, which was a fantastic game, I loved it. They have the Kurosawa mode, where you can play the samurai game in black and white. Uh, so I feel like if they had the original Godzilla in this, you should have to play it in black and white. Call it Ishiro Honda mode. That's my big idea. Maybe somebody can make a Godzilla game that can do that. Uh-oh. I need to be careful. Alright. Time for the JoJo strategy. Run away. It's gonna get bigger.
Let's dance, scumbag. Ah! Alright, that was a bad job. Finally using that tail, boys and girls. Smith Lesson, I'm actually playing Ghost of Tsushima. Tsush I can't say that fucking word. Tsushima. Jesus. Uh, there you go. Yeah, fantastic game. Uh, I don't play a lot of video games nowadays, but that was... How the hell did that game not win Game of the Year? I think Last of Us won Game of the Year. Uh, Last of Us 2. I'm a fan of Last of Us 1, but I didn't... Fucking damn it. Oh. oh god damn it. Oh. Well that was a disappointment. Sorry folks. Godzilla's never lost this much ever. Alright, let me look at some of the chat. Um Disguise Mecha Godzilla. Surprised that they gave the 1964 Godzilla the pulse attack. Yeah, that's true. That was weird. Um, Wiley Coyote, we need a new Godzilla game on PC. That would be great. Get something on Steam. That would be fun. Um, okay. Let's try this again. But yeah, Ghost of uh, Tsushima. That game kicked ass. I'm surprised it didn't win. An... I'm sure it won awards. But I don't know. I don't know what awards it won. But that, that was an amazing game. Yeah, so the first Last of Us game I love. I was like obsessed with it. I thought it was like the best thing ever. Um, I saw some of the people talking about the story in Last of Us 2. You know, didn't really appeal to me, so I just didn't buy it. But the Samurai game was fantastic. Uh, but again, I, but again, as you get older, it's like harder to find time to play video games. But I'm I'm really picky. You know what games I loved? I love those those Telltale games. Uh, yes, Jimmy Gomez. I know the roar acts as a block. I'm just not very good at this game. <laughs> I should be using the roar. It's a block. Uh, all account fun says hey bill what's with your first videos so yeah the first videos i started um you know i always wanted to make videos about godzilla it's just i didn't know you know so many people have done reviews and that's kind of what i started to do you know i was just doing sort of generic reviews what i thought of the movies but then um i read the book godzilla faq uh it's by brian solomon and I was just so fascinated by the history of these movies uh, that he talks about in that book. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just make videos about that. And at first, even then, I was like, oh, well, I should only make the videos like five minutes long. Nobody's going to want to watch me talk for 30 minutes about something. Um, and then I was watching... Uh, then I found uh, Mahler, Mahler's YouTube channel, which I think is fucking awesome. And he does a lot of long-form videos, and I know he's not the only one, but he, he really does a lot. Now, my videos will never be that long, but it kind of gave me, like, the, the thought, like, you know what, screw it. Let me just, if I find something interesting, if I find enough interesting things about a movie, I'm just going to talk about them. I don't care how long the damn video is, whatever. 
Uh, but the early videos I made, a lot of them are just that generic review. Uh, so I'll be replacing those, I'll be redoing them with the format that I do now. And I forgot about the fucking generators again. This is what happens when I start talking. I just, I lose all concentration. Alright. Please tell me this is the... Fuck, oh, there's another one. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta do it again. Oh, shit. No! Motherfucker. I failed again. Boy, I'm an idiot. Hey, you know what? I just keep getting distracted. I'm sorry. I am not a good multitasker. And Mr. Meme, don't forget the generator as well. Too late. Oh, Alright, I'll try it one more time and hopefully I'll just... Because it's really hot in the room I'm playing in right now because I don't have an air conditioner in here. I have it... It's like really humid and it's raining outside. I have an air conditioner in my room, but in my den I do not. And it's getting kind of hot in here. All right, let me just read some of the comments. Catman says, I think Ghost of Tsushima, Tsushima, I can't say the freaking word. Tsushima won best art direction. I could be wrong though. Um, well, that's good. I mean, it, it deserves awards. That's all I know. Uh, Joey Sullivan, the man, asks, Hey, Bill, which is your favorite Godzilla theme song? Um, I like whenever they combine the Godzilla march and the Godzilla Godzilla main theme. Um, kind of like what they did in King of the Monsters, where they, they have the dun, 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 but then they go into the dun, 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 which was originally supposed to be the second part, that's its own thing. That's supposed to just be for the Japanese Air Force, but people just ended up associating it with Godzilla. Uh, Goblin's Revenge. The problem for me with Last of Us 2 is that while the gameplay was fine and worked well, the game itself really drags on way longer than it needed to, and you end up feeling it drag too. Well, that's never a good thing. Um, Will, Wiley Coyote, to be honest, I found your channel around the GMK and sat down and watched all your videos. Don't know what's with that, but I like your videos so much fun. Huh? Well, thank you. Uh, Serenity Silverheart, yeah, I love your deep dives into the history of Godzilla movies. It makes a nice background audio when I'm drawing. Thank you. That's very. That's a very high compliment. I'm very big on background audio. One thing, though, with my videos, I never add music. Um, and I've thought about it a bunch. I... I started doing um, anime reviews for My Hero Academia. I don't know if anybody cares about that show, but I started reviewing the episodes, and I, I am going to put music in the background of those videos, but I I haven't put music in the, the Godzilla ones. I think it's... I don't know. I think I'm fine leaving it as is. Mr. Meme. I think that the Godzilla theme is the mixture... Right. It's the mixture with the Godzilla main theme, the main title and Godzilla March. Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> Big Al Games, Ghost of Tsushima won the Player's Choice Award. Oh, that's good. Well, I'm glad it won some. It won awards. I mean, it's fucking beautiful. Game. All right, I'm trying this one more time, and if I die or fuck up, that'll be it. Because it's getting really hot in this room. It's very uncomfortable. <clears throat> All right. Super Mega Godzilla. I swear, this fourth time I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you this time. Yeah, look at those mazers. Austin Williamson, yo, first ever stream. That is right, my first ever stream. I did a test earlier today uh, while I was working, my actual job. And I think a few people popped in really quick, and I was just like, "This is just a test." And I had the game audio. The game audio was just so loud; you couldn't even hear my voice. Hopefully, it's better now. I lowered the game volume by 50%. I heard online that's 
good percentage to lower it. Alright, we've seen this multiple times now. Alright, I'm not getting distracted. I'm gonna go fucking destroy this generator. Shit, he's getting close. Timer. I'm gonna destroy a few buildings though, because I, I need to get bigger to fight this asshole. Actually, who am I calling an asshole? Mickey Sigus though is in that in that mecha right now. Favorite Heisei era character. Should have done more with her. See, that's mind-boggling to me how she hasn't had any cameo. Like they haven't offered any cameos to Mickey. To um, Megumi Otika. Megumi Otika. Like, they haven't offered her any cameo. I mean, maybe they have and she just didn't want to do it, but I saw her a video, I think it was G Fest, where she was interviewed. And she said she's open to appearing in Godzilla movies, and then it. I guess in the Millennium Era, they never offered, or. Uh, I'm a little sad Shin Godzilla didn't extend an offer to her. I think, and again, I gotta look this up, but I think for Shin Godzilla, Kira Takarada was supposed to appear in that, but then his, I think his scene got cut? Or I might be thinking of King of the Monsters. But I know he was supposed to appear in one of these modern movies. I hate that when they cut out something. Like, why cut something like that? Cut out something like that. Yeah, well, when I redo all my show era videos, I'm gonna like probably rank. Uh, like when I do, I'll probably redo Terra, Mechagodzilla, and then I'll rank all my show era favorites in that video. Or I can make a very clickbaity video and just be like top ten Godzilla movies, and I get a lot of people pissed off. My list probably wouldn't be popular. I'm just spamming the fucking tail attack. You can tell I'm focusing. I stopped talking. So like, I really don't want to lose again. Should have ate more buildings. This would have been a lot easier. So for PC, what Godzilla games are available? I'm not even aware. I just knew about this game because I already had PS4. But I would stream myself playing other Godzilla games, or just other games in general. I guess I started. I started replaying Jet Set Radio. Fucking love. It. I wish there was a remake of Jet Set Radio Future. I like that game too. All right, I finally beat the bastard. King of the Monsters once again. I think there's only one level left. All right, I'm not a hundred meters, but I'm. Oh no, that was it. That was the end. That's the end of that. 
Unless there's something I'm missing here. Uh, I know you fight destroy it if you're you do everything the correct way. I did not. I died like five times, so <laughs> obviously I didn't do it the correct way. All right, let me just check out a few of the comments, then we'll we'll end the stream. Wait, okay. Shoal account fun ten. I hope they get Gigan in the MonsterVerse to get Godzilla bloody. I'm sure, yeah. See, Gigan would be another really good alien monster to incorporate. That'd be fun. Redirk two, fourth time's the charm, apparently. Joey Sullivan, you're so close. <laughs> you guys are just yelling out commands. You desperately wanted me to just fucking win. All right, well, thank you, everybody. All right, um... I was planning on doing this until around 8 o'clock Eastern Time, so i got a few minutes left. Uh, anybody got any questions? I'll gladly answer. Uh, if not, then I will end the stream a little bit early. But this was fun. I've never done this before. Um, I'm not sure how it works Like when it gets posted to YouTube afterwards. i got to look, in, look into that. Yeah, I'll stream myself playing any more. Uh, I'll stream myself playing other games, too, if you guys want. It's fine. Uh, Shola Count Fun 10, do you have Goji toys? Yeah, I have um, I have a few figures. I have uh, Shin Godzilla Frozen, the SH Monster Arts one, which I know a lot of people didn't like, because why would you want a Frozen figure that you could... It's Frozen. It's not supposed to move. Why did you make a figure of that? You should have just made a statue. But I liked it. It was pretty cool. Uh, Austin Williamson, you should definitely do this every once in a while. I think I will. This is fun. Um, it would have to be, you know, like I like this game, so like I might, I won't play. I, I don't think I'd play a Godzilla game if I didn't like it though. So, uh, but I, I'll, maybe I'll stream myself playing uh, Jet Set Radio because I started playing that again. Uh, Wiley Coyote, uh, who is your favorite character and why? It is Mickey Sagasa. Definitely the Heisei era. Definitely a cutie back then, so that's for sure. Uh, Serenity Silverheart, do you think you'll stream more often? Yeah, sure, why not? This was fun. You know, and you guys are really nice. You got some funny people in here with a good sense of humor. Uh, Strap at Top Gaming 3323, do more History of Godzilla. Well, absolutely. That's the plan. Uh, Mr. Meme, this game looks like something I would love. Well, you can buy it. It's just it's really expensive now. It's like over 200 bucks because nobody cared about it back then. Uh, Joey Sullivan, the man. I don't know if you saw this already, but will you do a unmade Godzilla movies video when the history of Godzilla films are done? Well, what I try to do is I try to mention the unmade videos at the time of the actual movies that were made. Um, I don't think I'd make a separate video for that. Um, Goblin's Revenge, plan on doing any other monster films. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about Cloverfield, because I remember, I think that came out in 2008, 2009, I remember seeing the trailer and having that same feeling I had back in 1998 when I saw, or 97, when I saw the trailer for the 98 Godzilla, thinking like, oh shit, this is Godzilla. But then I was disappointed, because eventually it was revealed it was a separate monster. But I was excited to see that movie, because I, I was living in Manhattan at the time, so like I thought it was cool to have sort of that kind of movie going on in Manhattan. Little Frog Gaming, hi, well hello. High Flyers Tag Team, hello, well hello sir, or or madam. Uh, do you, do, 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 do. Serenity Silverheart, do you own any of the Godzilla Melee games? If so, do you think you would play those on stream? Um, I don't own them. I do not, but is there like a PC port or are they, there's Godzilla games I can play on PS4, right? I would imagine. I'd stream that. Why not? Um, Wiley Coyote, Pacific Rim. I should probably talk about Pacific Rim because I like the first movie a lot. The second movie was, you know, it's funny. I think like if we look at like uh, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla and Tokyo SOS, I feel like it's the same thing for Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim 1 and 2, where, like, the human character story matters a lot more, I think, in the first one. The second one, it's just like, alright, big monsters fighting, here we go. 
a Gamera Guardian of the Universe video would be amazing, says Spicy Wiener 777. So here's the problem. I really need to watch all the Gamera movies. I've only seen one, so I would need to watch it. Uh, I saw one of the Guardian. I saw Gamera Guardian of the Universe. I think I saw the first one, and I liked it a lot. I thought it was amazing. Uh... Big Al Games, for real, mate. Love your Godzilla history videos. Keep doing what you do, bud. Well, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, I continue to make uh, content you like. So thank you for that. High Flyers Tag Team, have you talked about Colossal? No, no, I I, I have not. I, maybe I'll do something with that. High Flyers Tag Team, you definitely need to watch the Gamera Trilogy. Yeah, I've watched the first one. I, You're right, though. I need to finish that. The 90s Gamma Trilogy, it gets so much... It, right, yeah, it gets so much high praise because um, of uh, Kaneko, the director. He did a really good job, apparently. I liked the first one. I thought it was fantastic. Straptor Gaming 3323, bye. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. LOL, I just found this game for about $1,000. No way, is it $1,000? I think you can get it for like two-something. Um, High Flyers Tag Team. The reason I recommend Coloss uh, Colossal is its production is nuts due to the law huge lawsuit from Toho would make an interesting video. I will definitely check it out. Thank you for that. Alright. Uh, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, so I think I'll end the stream. Oh, Goblin's Revenge. How about play Shadow... Shadow of the Colossus, that's a Yeah, I have Shadow of the Colossus. It's a great game, and um, Ichiro Oshima did the music for that game, I believe. Or, no, no, no. I don't... Did Oshima do the... I think she did. You can fact check me on that one, but I'm pretty sure Oshima did the music for Shadow of the Colossus. Alright, so I'm going to end it here, because it is just very hot in my living room. Go back to the confines and the air conditioning of my actual room. All right, everybody, uh, thanks for joining the stream. It's been very fun, and I'll do this again. Maybe with this game, maybe with a different game. Maybe I'll do defend mode in this next time. Uh, but yeah, so thank you, everybody. Have a good one.